This morning, five young American Muslims from the Washington, D.C. area have been moved to a detention center for terror suspects in Lahore, Pakistan. The FBI and Pakistani military have been questioning them about a plot to wage jihad against troops in Afghanistan. ABC News chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross joins us this morning. With the latest, let's begin with that. What do we know about what they may be charged with? Well, they could be charged with giving material support to terrorism by the U.S. Uh, they went to Pakistan, apparently proclaiming to everyone they wanted to become part of jihad. In fact, the radical groups they first approached suspected them of being perhaps plants by the CIA. <laughs> they showed up in Western clothing, didn't speak any language, and they were rejected, in fact, by the first group they went to. They were making their way, they thought, to a place in North Waziristan where they could train to attack U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Five young men from the suburbs of Washington, two college students among them who uh, surprised everybody by, right. uh, by their actions. All their friends say no suspicions of any of this, but this raises so many questions. Ever since 9-11, people have been worried about homegrown terrorism right here in the U.S. We've had several cases. Uh, this week, just a Chicago man charged with helping to uh, organize the plot in Mumbai. Absolutely. Uh, you had Najibullah Nazi Zazi right. just recently in Denver. Uh, so what's going on? Well, the implications of this case really are more serious than the actual facts or the threat from these five young men. Uh, the concern about people in this country, disaffected uh, Pakistanis in many cases, who have decided they have uh, had it with their country, their adopted country, and they go to Pakistan to learn how to become fighters against America. The most radical case is that of Adam Gadan, raised in a Jewish family in Orange County, California. He's now a senior leader of al-Qaeda. This is a tape he released just overnight, uh, again warning Americans don't have long to live if they continue to fight against Allah. He is a senior commander now, wanted on a $5 million reward, charged with being a traitor. Uh, but it is an extreme example of what concerns many, uh, that American Muslims, young people, are following the same path seen in England. Right. Another big story in the region, Blackwater Security, which had been such an integral part of military operations there, cut off now this week. The CIA uh, cut off a contract that had them handling the Predator planes uh, that were flying over Pakistan. As well, uh, we've reported, along with the New York Times and the Washington Post, that they have been used almost in a mercenary role, uh, actually involved in paramilitary and combat operations in Pakistan, Iraq, and Afghanistan, which would be, if true, completely against the law. And there's much more to come on that as the Blackwater role continues to be diminished. You'll continue to follow that for us. Brian, thank you so much. Thank you, Appreciate Kate. It.